Hello, my name's Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you all about rushing and what to do, what to not to do, what to not to do. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the energies of rushing and how angels move because, and how things work because some of you are uh, people who rush, some of you who are not, and we forget and we're human sometimes, so it all happens. There's no way you can be a human and not rush. I rush sometimes but I don't mean to. If I told you I never rush, I'd be a liar. If anyone told you they'd never rush, they'd be a, a liar. Every human has it in them to rush. It's literally in our bodies to rush. If you feel like you have to use the bathroom, then you rush to the bathroom. So instantly, everyone everyone rushes at some point. So the whole point of this video is to get you guys to not to rush and to understand what rushing actually does. So what does a rush do? I'm gonna say this right now at the very front of the video. It cuts off 50% of your protections. Even St. Michael the Archangel can't help you fully. I mean, he can, but angels have to follow physical law unless God tells them otherwise. But even then, then they mitigate the damage. So yes, but he'd be ena ena la, la, la. he'd be enabling you at that point. La, 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 la. Enable. He'd be enabling you. He'd be enabling you at that point. <laughs> tongue, tongue twister, but these angels move very fast. If you actually saw how fast they move around and you tried to follow them with your eyes, they make you kind of dizzy. It can be over here and back over here. Usually, if I ever point to you guys in my videos and I say, oh, my angel's standing right there. They move very fast because I just pointed the camera right there. You normally feel heat because they all move so fast and it puts off a large amount of energy because heat is energy and usually, basically, energy can be calculated by heat. That's basic science, chemistry. So a lot of heat is put off when you rush. A lot. Enough to uh, do something major. Let's just say that. So the goal is to not rush. Of course, that's the goal. But what else happens? And I made videos like this in the past, and I'll repeat videos like this in the future. But you have to keep in mind where you rush, how you rush, etc. Because you could be doing everything right, but when you out move, I mean, when you move faster than your angels is when you're put in a bad angle. Ugh, I don't know if that rhymes, but you should remember it like that. So this is why it's good to have schedules. This is why it's good to have uh, set times. If you're rushing after someone to try to catch them to give them something, maybe your angels are telling you don't give that person whatever they just dropped because they're on their way to do something to someone, for example. So it could be dangerous. So and it also can take three seconds for people to understand what their angel just said because angels talk very fast. And the thing about angels is they're very tough to hear for people who are moving too quickly. So even, even with a human, if you're trying to rush and you're talking to a person and that person's rushing out the door and that person's in a rush and a rush, if you're talking to them, they don't know what you're saying fully. They're not fully coherent. So, oh, this is a good, this is a good one. You should never wake up and rush, ever. That's literally how you tank your luck. You'll throw out all your luck in the world just by doing that. You should not ever do that, ever. So, never, ever, 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 ever do that. Especially because I'll, I'll tell, I'll give you some secrets right now since I just talked about that. So, when you first wake up, the, the first thing you should do is pray because you just came back from the brink of death. That's a miracle on its own. So, there's more lighting. So, that's a miracle on its own. For people who instantly wake up, because I'll take a second when I wake up before, before I look at my phone, I'll take a second because you're still in the process of waking up. So if you intake information, you're not fully going to intake it and it won't be fully downloaded and that'll set the, that'll set the course of your day is just chaos and things being up in the air. So, when you wake up, do things nice and slowly. Let your mind get adjusted to waking up because sleep is the cousin of death. So Azrael can tell you that. But the thing is, take your time. So identify, OK, we're human. You could just say you don't rush. But when's the last time you rushed? Maybe you're rushing while you're listening to my video. Maybe this video is going to save some. This video is going to save some lives. So when you rush, you move very fast and it puts off lots of heat and heat is essentially that energies will translate into chaos and your protections can get dropped. 
even with, with the Lord protecting you, you have to follow physical and spiritual law to the point where you have to slow down to be able to accumulate a certain level of protections. I'm going to give you an example. So when it comes to uh, a soldier with a shield, so in order to put up that shield, it takes some strength. So if you put up the shield too fast, then... I mean, shields are heavy if you guys don't know. So if you put the shield up too fast, it can hurt your arm because you're rushed. So what happens in the gym, that's a good example too. What happens in the gym uh, when you guys rush on the equipment? I used to do that. And then it led to things that don't feel good and you don't know why you don't feel good. So a good example is, let's just say you're doing legs and I see people doing this for their legs. Like, the leg curl machine and just like... And then you, you see them like grabbing their knees and they're in pain, they're like wincing. You see people like, like walking around like visibly in pain. Certain exercises at the gym, I call the knee breakers. Certain exercises at the gym, I call, uh, that's the thing, you should stretch before you work out. You should stretch when you wake up. It's one thing you should do after you pray is to stretch. So, and why do people, mo why do a lot of people get like tendon tears and stuff like that or things hurt in the gym? It's because they, rush to doing the exercise before they actually maybe they forgot stretching but they didn't take time because they didn't give themselves a chance now a lot of you what happens when you're rushing to hear your angels you know i should talk about this right now mm, juicy topic ha 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 so if you're someone and I, i'm i did this a long time ago because when you first start hearing angels you want more you're like oh i hear them I, i'd like to hear them more so like it's like when you put in a bluetooth and you can you can hear it on low it's like oh Huh? And then I'll, I'll actually uh, I'll just share some secrets. So if my angels let me, I'm allowed to share them about how I, I at first ignored my angels when they said, when I first started hearing them fully, like a hundred percent, like as if a human standing there, I'm like, oh, I could, oh Lord, how do I speed this up? Cause I can hear them at a peak and I, I couldn't stand, I, I could not stand to uh, just have it very low. So I, I'm not gonna say what I did to force my Claire audience open, but they said if you do that, if you rush to open your Claire audience like that, there are certain exercises you can do, like a gym with the ears that the humans are not meant to do. They said if you do that, you're gonna go back in progress and it's gonna take longer. So kind of like how people are driving to one place and something crazy happens, now it takes longer because you rush to get there. Same thing applies. So the same thing applies when it comes to spirituality. You're in a vessel and you're opening your gifts. It's basically what's in the, you're opening what's in and around the vessel, but it should be op open very carefully and slowly and nice and easily. I like to say easy come, easy go. People want their third eye opened in one day. People can do that, but then it will never open again and you will always be a has-been. For the for the has-beens, or I don't mean to be mean when I say that, for the has-beens who have done that, like, oh, I've opened it one day and it's completely gone. And that's the, now you live with a certain expectation of getting that back when you're not even supposed to have it in the first place because you were supposed to work your way up to it. Now you can't work your way up to it because you got it all at once and now that expectation is there. Nope. That's why the Lord will have your gifts opening slowly. So that, that has happened to me before. So when I was very young, I not only heard my angels as loud as daylight, like my, my ears would do very different things. Like my, it sounded like, and it hasn't been, it wasn't even supposed to open like that. Basically, how you dial in a radio, I could hear different angels and different tune. And like, I thought that's how my ears were supposed to be. So I became kind of like freakishly like, hey, I gotta get that back. And I was doing a hundred different things like I was telling you guys to open my clear audience again. So I'm like, how do I get my ears? Cause I, I almost made myself, uh, what do you call it? Uh, let's just say, I, I almost made myself go crazy a couple of times because I was trying to hear them so much. And I was like, wait, I can hear you guys. Like, I, wanna, I like to hear you better. And they're like, slow down. I'm like, what do you mean slow down? There's a, and then there's another way. They're like, it's like, they said, his specific words is, it'll come, it'll open up more in the right time. In the right time. And I'm like, tomorrow. <laughs> so they, they know what I'm talking about. I'm uh, Same thing with you guys. It doesn't take long to open your clear audience at all. It's It could be a year, it could be two years, it could be three years, it could be seven years, but let it let it take its time. So another thing what happened when, when I rushed, which is nightmarish, is, uh, and let's just say you can break your ears. Uh, you don't want to break your ears. So when it comes to rushing with spiritual gifts, I'm talking about clairaudience specifically, but so what happens with clairvoyance if you rush it? 
So, I want to give you an example. Because I said enough, I'm allowed to say a certain amount. So, when it comes to clairvoyance, what is clairvoyance? Clear seeing. So, you ever, I don't even know if I, I could talk about this on YouTube. They say spiritually the benefits of sun gazing is, and I can't teach about sun gazing on here, but it's spiritually beneficial for the third eye. Okay, so if it's supposedly good for the two eyes as well, and you're, you're supposed to gradually do it, because if you just do it right away, you're going to blind yourself. What do you think happens in the spiritual world if you open your clairvoyance too fast or too quickly? You try to open your gifts, and now you can't see anything. You try to open your clairvoyance a little too fast, and now I've seen people go spiritually blind from it. Let's just say that. So you want to open it, and, and one night, you take that crystal ball, you look at it, you stare at it as hard as you can, and you strain your eyes. So spiritually, uh, you will you can make yourself get basically uh, a third eye headache. So basically, your third eye feels like it's about to explode, and it's the worst pain you ever felt, spiritually, a spiritual pain. The things I see in Florida. Okay, back to my video topic. I hope you guys didn't even hear that. I don't even talk about what I just saw. Okay, back to my topic. When this video reaches 100 likes, I'll tell you what I just saw. I mean, I, I might have to switch up spots because... Okay, back to my topic. Uh... I hope he doesn't come back. Oh, heaven no. Uh, okay, so that guy's gonna be in a rush, the ER probably, but back to my topic. Uh, oh, okay, back to the topic of ER, because I'll see some things around here. I've seen people climb out of bushes, and I'm like, you know what, I'm ready, bring it on. Like, <laughs> the St. Michael can fight, but I can too. I'm like, bring it on. So, in Florida, it, it, there's crazier stuff Stuff has happened. I'll give you an example. I've had a... Uh, let's just say, I, I, I can tell this story now. I've had a gun pulled on me because I run into a, a spot like this. Basically, I pulled up a little too quickly, right? And someone was doing something suspicious in their car. And they saw me doing what, I, what was suspicious in the car. And since I rushed so quickly into the spot... So, basically, I wasn't in a rush, but I went into the spot really fast and really quickly and this person was doing something like they they were doing a substance and they were abusing a substance and that person uh went to their glove box and pulled a thing directly at me and they basically held it at me and i was looking at them and I'm like i wasn't i was actually not scared i was disappointed and this is the first time i shared this story so uh i rushed into the spot and this is why you gotta this is why you gotta do more prayers guys i rushed into the spot and all my angels went quiet and i'm just like is he doing what i think he's doing and they all went quiet and they're like started like nodding their heads and i'm like and time must have have stopped and i like i said i wasn't scared i wasn't worried i don't really care when i leave my body i'm going above the firmament i don't care I help you guys, and that's all I care about is changing the world in a positive way. My messages are out there. If I go today or tomorrow, I don't care. I'll help you guys as a spirit. <laughs> but uh, that's the thing. I rush into the spot. The guy was doing something in his car. And uh, immediately pulled the gun out of me and held it at me. And I saw his, like, him kind of like... And when you see that, it's like, you know what? And I just backed out very slowly. Because if I backed out fast, you'd probably, I would probably not be making this video. But that's why I'm here. It's because I backed out very slowly. Why the angels reacted the way they reacted, I don't know. I, I, I thought for a long time, I'm like, I don't like how quiet they were. I'm like, I don't like how quiet you guys are. I'm like, they're like, well, they're saying if we rushed in telling you, then... It had been something completely different. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Okay. I'm gonna end this video now. <coughs> you know, I'm, just, I'm gonna switch spots. I'm, I'm probably not doing this video in the car again.
When I say someone just walked past me and pooped their pants. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I should not have manifested like rushing to the bathroom example in this video. I'm You know what? Because it smells. I, you know, I'm taking my time in doing this video and not rushing and doing this video. I wasn't in a rush to do this video. You know, maybe it's because it's October 1st. But, uh, very interesting, guys. Very interesting stuff. And yes. Okay. But I should have said, I should have story a story of. As to why you guys shouldn't rush when driving, even when you're going in a parking spot. You know, I like to go down the beach very slowly. I'll, I'll give you an example. I don't rush on the beach because I know people are crossing on the beach. Speed limit's 35, I'll do 30. If people don't like it, too bad. Because I've seen uh, kids run out in the street, dogs run out in the street, and just because I was doing 30, I didn't hit them. And they were at the brink. Well, through the most high God, I didn't hit them, but I was doing what I was supposed to do. You guys know what's right. Ask the Lord for guidance. Make sure you pray before you do anything you do. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. And I will see you guys next time. By the way, you can get some beautiful new crystals from FloridaStoneMan.com. You can also get a Florida Stone Man custom necklace from me on Instagram. I make custom necklaces, and when you get a custom necklace from me, that necklace comes with a lifetime guarantee. And that necklace is life-changing. And it's customized and hand-tailored specifically towards you. How many humans on this earth can they say can they say have a nearly indestructible, guaranteed-for-life necklace that is life-changing with its positive energy, specifically based off your zodiac and who you are? If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.